Water from National Geographic Kids by Melissa Stewart. A watery world. Take a look at Earth from space. Why does our planet look so blue? It's blue because water covers almost three quarters of Earth's surface. Half of the world's plants and animals live in water. The other half depend on water to live and grow. Life as we know it couldn't exist without water. The first life on Earth was tiny one-celled creatures that appeared in the ocean about 3.5 billion years ago. As time passed, these simple creatures changed and developed. They became larger, more complex creatures. The earliest animals probably lived about 600 million years ago. Eventually, some animals left the water and moved onto land, but many animals and other creatures continue to live in Earth's oceans. All about oceans. Almost all of Earth's water is in its four huge oceans, the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, and Arctic. All of the oceans are connected, and salty seawater is always on the move. Deep, cold water currents flow across the ocean floor toward the equator. Warmer water near the surface moves towards the north and south poles. Wavy water. As the wind blows, waves form in the open ocean. When a wave gets close to shore, its bottom hits the shallow seafloor and sh slows down. But the top keeps going. This causes the top to fall over and crash onto land. Look out across the ocean, and you see nothing but water and waves. But just below the surface, the ocean is teeming with life. Deeper down, the water is pitch black and freezing cold, but many creatures are able to live in these conditions. Quiet waters. Unlike the salty ocean, lakes and ponds are filled with fresh water. These normally quiet bodies of water are fed by rivers, streams, or underground springs. They form in low areas of land. Many of the world's ponds and lakes formed in a surprising way. Thousands of years ago, Earth was very cold. Thick glaciers covered large areas of Europe and North America. As these ice, sheet, ice sheets moved south, they scraped giant holes in the land. Then, about 11,500 years ago, Earth warmed up. Many glaciers melted, and their water drained into the holes to form lakes and ponds. Fish and frogs, snails and turtles, ducks and dragonflies. These are just a few of the animals that live on, in, on, and around lakes and ponds. As water plants soak up sunlight, they get energy to make food. Then they become dinner for insects, fish, snails, and ducks. And those animals are eaten by frogs, birds, and other predators. Quiet waters are the perfect home for all these creatures. Go with the flow. As rain falls and snow melts, water flows downhill. It forms fast-moving streams that join together, becoming rivers. The water keeps on going until it reaches the ocean. The kind of life in a river depends on how quickly its water flows. Plants can't grow in fast-moving water, but they have no trouble surviving in slower water. Animals live in the areas of a river where they can find food. As a river races across the land, it knocks loose bits of soil, sand, and rock. These fast -flowing water, this, the fast-flowing water carries those bits with it. The water erodes riverbanks. It digs out river bottoms. Over time, the rushing water changes the shape of the land. When a river reaches the ocean, its water suddenly slows down, and all of the sediments it has picked up falls to the sea floor. Round and round. All the water in Earth's oceans, lakes, and rivers has been here for billions of years. But that doesn't mean it has always stayed the same. Water is special. It's the only substance found naturally in three forms, solid, liquid, and gas, and it can easily change from one form to another.
the water cycle. Water doesn't stay in one place for long. It's always on the go, moving from oceans, lakes, and rivers to the air, to the land, and then back again. This process is called the water cycle. Cool facts about water. This and the other side notes in this book, you can pause and read on your own or buy the book for yourself. Water and weather. The air around us contains a variety of different gases, but when it comes to weather, the most important gas is water vapor. Water vapor can become the rain that ruins a picnic. It can become the snow that closes school. That's why people check the weather report before deciding what clothes to wear and how to spend the day. Near the ground. On cool nights, water vapor near the ground condenses. It forms tiny water droplets. When the tiny water droplets hang in the air, we see them as fog. When the water vapor condenses on objects like grass, leaves, or a spider's web, we see dew. If the nighttime temperature drops below the freezing point, the dew changes into a solid. The next morning, we see frost covering the grass. In the sky. The air around Earth is full of water vapor. It's close to the ground and it's high in the sky. When the water vapor above our heads condenses, we see clouds. Clouds come in many different shapes and sizes. Some are miles and miles above the ground. Others are much closer. Scientists divide clouds into three major groups. Cirrus clouds, cumulus clouds, and stratus clouds. Too much, too little. In some parts of the world, it rains almost every day. In other places, it hardly rains at all. The plants and animals in these areas know how to survive in their surroundings. But sometimes a storm dumps too much rain. Rivers overflow and the land floods. The water can destroy homes and fields of crops. Other times, little or no rain falls on an area for weeks and weeks. This is called a drought. Soil dries out and plants die. People may run out of water to drink. Too little rain can be just as damaging as too much rain. Let it snow. In winter, chilly air can freeze some of the tiny water droplets that make up a cloud. Nearby liquid droplets stick to the ice and they freeze too. As more and more droplets clump and freeze, the ice crystal grows heavier and heavier. Finally, it plunges downward. Falling ice crystals collide and form snowflakes. By the time a flake hits the ground, it may contain thousands of crystals. Water in your body. Water isn't just an important part of our planet, it's an important part of your body, too. More than half of your total body weight is water. Your body uses water in all kinds of ways, from digesting food to getting rid of germs. Your body loses water whenever you sweat or go to the bathroom. That's why you need to drink plenty of water every day. Water in your life. You probably drink about a half gallon of water each day, but you also need water to clean your food, clothes, and body. Believe it or not, you probably use between 80 and 100 gallons of water every day. Think about all the ways your family uses water. Using the table below, work with an adult to add up how much water your family uses each week. Is it more than you expected? Water warning. We drink water. We use it to cook, clean, and carry waste out of our homes. Farmers use it to grow crops, and companies use it to make products. Since the 1950s, the amount of water people use, use has tripled, but the supply hasn't. In some places, water is being used faster than it can be replaced. Scientists worry that soon there won't be enough water for us and the creatures that share our world. What can you do to help? Use water wisely. Having enough water isn't our only problem. We also need to keep it clean. Right now, ships are dumping trash into the ocean. 
Factories are pumping waste into rivers and streams. Chemicals that farmers use to kill insects are draining into lakes and ponds. All this pollution can make the water dangerous to drink. It can also harm fish and other water creatures. We need to work together to stop the pollution. It's the only way to protect our world's most precious natural resource. Be a quiz whiz. How much do you know about water? After reading this book, probably a lot. Take this quiz and find out. You can pause it if you want to go through the whole thing. That was Water from National Geographic Kids by Melissa Stewart. And this is EDU Kids Space. Subscribe for more books, stories, and lessons. And if there's something in particular you'd like to hear about, leave us a message in the comments.